this whole thing of hey, if tomorrow I pass away, mm. my name dies. You know, <laughs> oh, that's, that's <laughs> so true. and you know it's 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 it sounds petty, but it's actually very. It's really no, no, serious. it's not even petty in yes. Africa for us. It's mm. yes, strong yes, up yes, there. Yeah. Yes, they mm. say Tony Musaja or that mm. kind of thing. Mm. But then also on the hindsight, thinking of what it's what is going on in the mind of my wife because many times it's a woman who is to blame yes, a lot, yeah. so then understanding that if i if i show my stress or 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 if i get frustrated mm. Mm. it's yeah. not going to help yes yeah. even the process of conceiving is actually going to become difficult mm. because i remember the doctor saying you know you have to find the right time mm. they I, I had heard from people who are doing fertility how a guy in the middle of the day is like, come, come now, now is the right time, that kind of thing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, again, at work, guys are like, boss, are you sleeping on the job? You know, those I kind know. of things. Mm. So learning to just understand. Mm. Time, there's a time, I don't know if it was a day or two, and that time I would move around and I said, actually, my eyes would always look out for a pregnant what? Mm. woman, mm. which was a reminder mm. that mm. you guys are, you know, like more mm. like to say that you are mm. failing, mm. but quickly arrest that thought and then yes. move on. Christ in the center. Welcome to forever. This is our path of synchrony like leather and feathers No matter the weather we can storm the umbrellas Take a stroll in my heart Let's take this father when I'm beside you baby See my stakes get better Let me bet it all Destiny vandetas Rosy day emotional description of this love I am yours, you are mine The only thing that matters now We are the Echimus Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Forever Together with The Ekimas. If it's your first time, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell to be notified every time we upload a video. Wow. <laughs> Baby, <Yeah>. shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Why did you throw your feedback at me? <laughs> Guys, in this week's episode, we are discussing a very, very amazing topic. Uh, a topic that is very close to our heart but also very sensitive and we have very special guests as you might see people lighting up our channel <laughs> of course <laughs> we'll let them introduce themselves we have a whole couple they've been married they'll tell us about themselves mm. and they'll be sharing about their journey trying to conceive mm. so if you know someone who has been through that struggle they've tried to have a baby they are married or you yourself have been through that situation this video is for you please make sure that you watch up to the end first of all thank you for coming thank you for honoring our invitation and making our channel so cute yes. <laughs> <laughs> so guys we'll let them introduce themselves and then we will start please don't go off <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> hi, my name is Georgetta Cheng Gauchie, and I am so glad to be here. In fact, so honored. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, such a privilege to be here and to just share our story. And of course, uh, wouldn't <laughs> be a story if it wasn't for. Yeah. Yes, yeah. My yeah. name is uh, Linus Gauchie, um, husband to this uh, lovely, um, energetic, full of life. <laughs> Um, um, wife who got me here and I look forward to what we are going to share with you guys. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, just tell us about your story. Mm -hmm. uh, there's someone probably watching out there who has who is going through the situation. Mm -hmm. Actually, we got uh, we get so many DMs from people who tell us, you know, we're going mm -hmm. through the whole cafes the of trying to consume mm -hmm. the most recent i think was uh someone who has been married for five years and you know she was sharing and saying i have tried everything we have tried everything we've been married five years we've been trying to conceive and my husband has reached at a point where he's like you know what i'm done trying like mm -hmm. i've lost the patience of waiting for this thing that doesn't seem to come so i know that many marriages out there are being pressed mm -hmm. by this same issue so we just thought we'd have you on the channel to share your journey tell us how was it like going through that phase uh first of all how long have you been married yeah uh, how long did you try to conceive right what was that journey like and what are the lessons really for people out there that are watching that are going through this phase 
for the both of you, you know, mm. from your perspective, because I know how you receive it as a man might be different for a woman. Yeah. Yeah. And people will be asking the woman, where is that baby? Mm. Where is that? The pressure is <laughs> too much. Yeah, yeah mm. like you get married and people are like, what next? Where is the child? Mm. Yeah, so how did you, what was that like? How long have you been married? How long did you wait? Mm. And what was that like? Yeah, yeah so the floor is yours really. Wow. <coughs> Great. Uh, maybe do you want to start? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies All right. first. Ladies, Ladies first. first. <laughs> Ladies first, indeed. Uh, so we've been married for seven years. Yeah. We got married uh, in 2016 uh, on the 11th of June. And it was a good day. It was a glorious day. And of course, like many weddings, uh, the wedding reception, everybody who says a speech is like oh we wish you twins <laughs> <laughs> blessings of twins <laughs> and you know and you know oh we can't wait to see cute little brown yeah. you know I I you be yeah, I be a brown <laughs> yeah. so you know you're, you're receiving this you're like yeah yeah but you want to take a fire yeah mm. you know even have a what a blast <coughs> then yeah. we will have all we those. shall start after. and then we shall start after <laughs> so really that that was the attitude that we entered the marriage in we got all those blessings. It was a really good wedding with a lot of support. And so we entered into the marriage and we're like, you know, listen, we have our whole lifetime together. So mm -hmm. let's use the first year to, you know, chill, get to know each other. We had never lived together before that. Uh, so we wanted to get to know each other. But also at that time, I was pursuing a potential masters in theology. I was trying to write a few applications and potentially wanted to do it abroad. You guys are pastors. I don't know if you mentioned that. <laughs> church? Yes, oh, yeah. We, we, we are uh, part uh, of a great church. It's called Vive Church International. Mm -hmm. And uh, on all our handles, it's the Vive Nation. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a great church. And mm -hmm. yeah, if you would like to check it out, we'd be happy for you too. Yeah. yeah. So at that time, you know, <clears throat> I was pursuing that. So I really was not in a hurry to conceive. So the whole of 2016 was okay, you know. Uh, and even people ask questions. They're like, hey, listen, we have relax. time. Relax. Mm -hmm. You also don't have that internal pressure. So mm -hmm. you would also deflect the non-pressure, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 2016, 2017 came and went. Mm -hmm. And then we went into 2018. Um, 20, 2016 to 2017, 2017 into 18. Now it's around 2017 now that the um, the idea or the plan of going abroad to pursue a master's in theology didn't pan out like we thought. So now we are home and then you're like, okay, something has to what? To okay. give, yeah, something has to happen. This so was now, a year or, or like a few months <clears throat> in. This was a year, a year uh, after. after. Mm. A year after because now, you know, the, the idea of going abroad was no longer in the picture. Mm. Um, so we were like, okay, now we have spent a year together. Yeah. The whole thing of going to do the, the masters abroad is not going to happen, in, at least not now. Mm. So we might as well begin to uh, try for a baby. And so we began to try. Were you in family planning at that time? No, no. I remember uh, our disciple then, <coughs> Uncle D, <laughs> some of you may know him here. Uncle D told us, no, 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 don't, don't mm. use anything. <laughs> <laughs> So our disciple then you know advised that we don't and so we didn't mm. um even from you know from, from the get-go yeah so we were not on anything and so that one year after that we now began to seriously try mm. and then you know 2017 into 2018 came and what and went mm -hmm. now <clears throat> um 2018 was very interesting in the sense that i think i got a dream i had a dream and without going into details, this dream was very telling of many things. So I spoke to a couple of my aunties and they said, mm, that dream is quite, that's not, that's not a normal dream, you know? Mm. And so they, then one of my aunties said, by the way, you may need to go and see so-and-so who are very good in the deliverance ministry and they may shed some more light. So um, straight up, we went to see those deliverance ministers and they were honestly, honestly amazing. And from that experience, we realized that our womb had been tied, right? Mm. And this is something we mm. didn't know. We you know how you hear those stories, but you're like, <laughs> cannot be <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're, they're real. Uh, yeah. They're even real, you yes. know? And in that particular moment, it was us. Yeah. And our womb was tied. And so now we knew it was not a physical thing. It was mm, a spiritual, spiritual thing. Mm. Right? Yeah, so just to backtrack a little bit. Mm. Um, so in 2017, 2018, when we were trying, yeah. we actually did um, some tests. 
and we went to one of my, one of those clinics in Kololo, and then you know just to test my fallopian tubes just to ensure that everything mm. was fine. Mm. Because usually what they say is they first test the woman, and if they find that there's nothing wrong with the woman, then they come. Is that so? Yeah, yeah. That's at least the two, uh, because they say that I think we hold seventy percent chance. Mm. Yeah, of being the the issue. The issue. The issue. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we are like yeah. So yeah, that's <laughs> for lack of a better word. Yeah. For calling. Yes, mm. yes. So I think that's why even the stigma when a couple doesn't have a kid, yeah, it's, it's, really it's always right. directed to the yeah. woman, mm. even when the thirty percent could be that it's the that, man. Yeah. 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 So in 2018, we actually did that. Of course, one of you know those family friends were like, mm, "You guys have been, mm, I think, uh, but I have a person, I have a doctor, you know those things." Mm. So we we went there, but that the test was not conclusive, and and we didn't pursue it any further because we thought, okay, but it's it's maybe too early to go down that you know that mm. road because it had had even been. You know, three years. Yeah. Wow, you guys were really at peace. Eh? Mm. You are really chilling. <laughs> hey, well, like, listen. No, but, ah, mm. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to 2018, and then that's when you know we had that experience. The deliverance ministers we got to know that our womb was tight, and then now we began to pray massively. Mm. Uh, so just hold on. What the the results from the doctor positive yeah. or they're not conclusive. conclusive. Not conclusive. They no, they actually said everything was clear. Oh yeah. Ah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So there wasn't any issue. Mm. Yeah, everything was uh, clear on the, both sides mm. medically, so mm. there shouldn't be a problem. Mm. Yeah. 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 Actually, I think the, the the doctor said no, no, no. I think try again and then yeah. you'll come for mm. another mm. checkup. Mm. But mm. from my end. There is nothing that is showing anything mm-hmm. that you know denotes anything, yeah. So when we got to realize that our womb was tight, then our prayers changed. So you know, before we pray, oh God, thank you for this day, thank you for the marriage. You know, very mm-hmm. good prayers, but yeah. those prayers. Yeah. <laughs> and now when we got to realize, we oh my goodness, like our prayer life transformed to a whole new level uh, because we prayed midnight we had to pray at the mm. three watch hours midnight 3 a.m and 6 a.m uh, because you know at that time that's sometimes you should, people who are dealing in the demonic and yeah. mm. and, 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 the, and sorcerers that's the mm. time that they are also mm. doing all these you know Active. active activities <coughs> so mm. we also had to, because now we knew that it was a spiritual, spiritual and warfare. It, warfare yes mm. it was not a physical mm. biological issue it was uh, spiritual so we had to attack it and we had to conquer and, and be victorious in the, mm-hmm. in the in the spiritual so we we had to, so we had to adjust um our prayer times we had to almost like you know sleep and then before you know it you're awake and then you're praying and you're awake and you're praying and of course we had prayer guides but one of the things that we began to do in that season as well was we began to name our children so we began to call mm-hmm. them by name, mm-hmm. right? Um, so we had our daughter, we had we named our daughter Ezra, which means helper in Hebrew, mm-hmm. and our son Jedidiah, uh, which is Solomon, or which means a friend of God. Mm-hmm. And so we began to call Jedidiah by name, and this mm-hmm. was 2018, right. after we knew that this was a spiritual mm-hmm. warfare. Mm-hmm. So we said, okay, now we must um, <coughs> believe, mm-hmm. proclaim, and declare and declare the thing. Mm-hmm that we know we have victory in. Yeah. So we began to call our, our son by name. We would say, oh, by the way, imagine when Jedida is here. It was so crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Remember, our friends would be like, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. The book, the book, the book, um, Supernatural yes, child yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So we also spoke into that uh, every night. Yes. Every night. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, you were reading the book together and yes, and praying mm-hmm. uh, the prayers in that book together. Mm-hmm. The yeah. book is called Supernatural Childbirth. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. Yeah. Um, of course, every now and again you meet people now, 2019. Mm-hmm. So we didn't conceive in 2018. Um, even even after we prayed. So we prayed. We didn't even conceive in, in, uh, in 2020 at that we, we didn't even consider a bigger pattern in 2018. We didn't it's consider the whole year. So we got to know about the issue in March of 2018. And we prayed all the way. And even into 2019, we only conceived at the tail end of 2019. Wow, which was two October, years later. Almost yes. two years later. And you're praying <coughs> and manifesting and speaking. Speaking, exactly. <laughs> speaking we overcame. Children. We overcame, exactly. Mm. Uh, of course, now in that time, of course, because now 2019, you got married in 2016. 
this is almost you're coming almost to four, four years, years four years in marriage mm-hmm. so of course people now will begin to ask some of those questions and now they became biting because mm. that time, that had, time yes, was telling. Yeah, yeah that time thank you that's, <laughs> that, that's a perfect sentence that time was telling so of course people are like mm, okay we get one year even two years but, but four <laughs> pressure. <laughs> pressure yes so you know sometimes people ask you those questions and for me i think i think i got most affected and mm. i'll come back home and tell my husband my husband's like by the way let it go. Even if you and I, and God forbid, we never had a child together, that would never make our marriage less of a marriage. Mm. Wow. Yeah. High five. Amen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. Amen. Amen. And I remember for me, one of the, the, the scriptures that really, really rang true for me then, and is still such a faith scripture for me today, is the story of Hannah. You mm. know, in the, the, the book of First Samuel, mm. uh, when Hannah went and cried unto God, yeah. And God answered her prayer, and Hannah said, "You know what? I'm going to dedicate. Yeah. When when you do give me this child, I'm going to dedicate him unto you." And of course, mm. we know that story. And she dedicated Samuel, and, so, and Samuel mm. became a priest, and you know mm. that kind of thing. So I think for me, I stood on that scripture. I stood on you know uh, Sarah. I stood on Rebecca. Mm. You know, I stood on Rachel. Mm. Uh, you know, Elizabeth. Uh, yeah. You know, women who uh, had no like there was nothing that looked like they were going to conceive, and God did that miraculous. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So we prayed because that book has a lot. You know, it has a lot of those scriptures, and also just the scriptures that talk about children, <coughs> and your quiver will be full of them. The mm. the hundred and twenty seventh psalm you know mm-hmm. talk that your quiver will be what full of them mm-hmm. so we decreed and declared the scriptures uh, mm-hmm. and and began to see them as mm-hmm. though they had already what mm-hmm. come to pass we claimed them. exactly yeah. we claimed mm-hmm. them uh, and and we claimed them with the, from the understanding that also that the word of god is the authority of god mm-hmm. and god cannot go against his word in fact he says himself that he has esteemed his word above himself mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I think that's really powerful. I like, first of all, the fact that, and I think it's very easy for us to ignore it. You know, when you're hearing stories in hindsight, they mm. sound so easy, so so mm. so quick, like, oh, it's just a story, then this happened. Mm. But in that moment, uh, two years you're praying mm. every night mm. and declaring mm. and speaking all these things. Mm. And as you're sharing, as reminded <coughs> by the story of, you know, Sarah mm. and how they waited and God kept appearing and saying oh you have a child Mm -hmm. oh you have a child at Mm -hmm. an appointed time but like when when is Mm -hmm. this appointed time Mm -hmm. Uh, and yet you are constantly being faithful you're praying Mm -hmm. and for me the the lesson that i pick there is that sometimes Mm -hmm. let us not expect that because we pray today Mm -hmm. the answer will be tomorrow that's right and like god told abraham Mm -hmm. and sarah Mm -hmm. at an appointed time Mm -hmm you shall have a child Mm. and indeed the appointed time came but you know of course what happened in between there Mm. between when the promise was made and when the appointed time came (laughs) these guys had to hold matters in their hands (laughs) and they're like things are not moving yeah Yeah, so there's also a place for remaining and staying Mm. yes and I'm just curious to know how was that like for you guys? Maybe you can share, especially yeah. from a man's perspective. Yeah. How was that season of staying? Mm-hmm. I mean, you're praying. Mm-hmm. 2018. For me, I would think when I find out, mm-hmm. especially when God has revealed it, you're like, yeah, He has revealed to deliver us like mm-hmm. today. Mm-hmm. And then you start praying one month, six. Mm. seven and then you're manifesting all these things and using all these books and mm. claiming if it's just not adding mm. up mm. did it ever ever have a strain on your relationship did you mm. have those days you know those nights where you were like hey but mm. Mm. you know um, and what kept you grounded yeah, yeah. So, good. so so i feel i feel that um it actually had a strain so what first of all from from word go, mm. I always say that uh, because there's a time we had this chat and she's like, what if we're not able to have a child? Mm. <coughs> so for me, a child did not define who she is or what we were about. Mm. So the things that we were going to do together, a child is a blessing, but then mm. define the marriage, the, the marriage mm. or, the, or the person. Mm. So, but of course, being human, Having a family who are like, hey, what's up? What's what's up? up? <laughs> we mm. came to all the way to Giseni for your wedding. We mm. need to see mm. return on investment. So, um, again, many times you laugh at it, but mm. then you know that, okay, some people are out there actually 
judging because judging. there is a standard. Yeah. yeah. That's a that's a world standard. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So understanding that in the moment helped. Mm. But then of course there were times when you're like, man, you're like, you know, eh, there's this whole thing of eh, if tomorrow I pass away, mm. my name dies. You know what <laughs> that's, I mean? that's <laughs> so and you know it's 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 it sounds petty, but it's actually very it's really No, no, it's not even petty in yes. Africa for us it's mm. Yes, strong up there. Yeah. Yes, they say mm. Tony Musaja or that mm. kind of thing. Mm. But then also on the hindsight, thinking of what it's what is going on in the mind of my wife, because many times it's a woman who is to blame. Yes, I know it, yeah. So then understanding that if I if I show my stress or 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 if I get frustrated, mm. it's yeah. not going to help. Yes. Even yeah. the process of conceiving is actually going to become difficult. Mm. Because I remember the doctor saying, you know, you have to find the right time. Mm. They I, I had heard from people who are doing fertility how a guy in the middle of the day is like, come, come now, now is the right time. That kind of thing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so so I could imagine all those things. Mm. But above all, I think because because I trusted that you know what, God is going to come through. Amen. Yeah, the doubts are there, but you are like you know at some point God is going to come through. Mm. Mm. So there were moments when you are alone and you're like, man, I think I had uh, my, I have a cousin who was, yeah, she's. Kids come easy for her, so mm. uh, yes, you're like, oh, Fernanda, yes. we bring to a different God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, then um, yes, and then I think um, um, yeah, her, her metro mm. Mm. conceived uh, before. No, mm. yes, and it was natural, and you know, it was like. Everything is just yes, everything, is so everything around you, yes. people yeah. are always. And it's so funny when you're going through that season, everything else seems to point to the opposite. <laughs> yes, yes. So, mm. and then, of course, on top of that, again, at work, guys are like, boss, are you sleeping on the job? You know, those I kind know. of things. Mm. So, learning to just understand that you have that relationship with God mm. and it's between you and Him. Mm. So, in the moment, yes, because of the temptations and the, the, the human side, mm. you have the doubts. Mm. But largely now you hold on to us. So because we are praying on a daily basis, that, mm. that was keeping us. Kept, yes. yeah, kept you going. Yes, yes. To your point of saying, okay, even now in other things, you understand that something is not just going to come mm. just because you did say the prayer once and because mm. you pray, the devil is also working over time. Yeah. Mm. And in hindsight, knowing what you are going through, Definitely, the devil was working over time. Mm. The other mm. side, yeah, yeah. I like that. That, mm. and and I know sometimes I think the point I pick here is that amidst all of that, mm. keep in prayer yeah. and praying together because there's something that praying together does. Yeah. You know, the whole day, all these thoughts and negativity and all they're not going to solve the problem. But then you come in prayer and you remember that you know what. Mm. Uh, it kind of brings you back. It anchors you mm. to, to you know why you you you're here, why you you're pushing, mm. and that's the power of praying together as a couple. Mm. Oh, yes. At the end of the day, after all these things, you come back and it's like your minds are renewed mm. daily yes. onto the goal or the vision of what you guys are, are, yes. are chasing. Mm. That's really powerful. So I'm just curious to know. Uh, mm. Masha, what would you tell mm. someone who is going through that mm. as a lady? Mm. Okay, first of all, for you as a gentleman, mm. what would you tell a man mm. who is going through that season? Mm. Probably the, it's the lady that calls. It might not mm. even be spiritual, mm. but the results have come out and it's the lady. Mm. Mm. And how do you encourage someone like that, a man who is going through that? Mm. What can they do? What are those things mm. they can do daily mm. to make sure that they don't let it Mm. Think them. Mm. Yeah, because it's personally, I can say for myself, mm. many times we are, we are different. Personally, it was hold on to the promise mm. Mm. because it's 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 the fruit of marriage. Uh, children are, are one of the fruits of marriage. Mm. So if it has been promised, it is going to come. Mm. Mm. If it doesn't come for one reason or the other, again. It's God's will. Mm. Many times we don't understand that. Mm. Then, in the moments when things are tight, mm. when you when 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 you are now weak in the spirit and you are struggling, mm. um, one of the things I did is I had a friend who was actually wasn't married, but um, I used to ask him. And interestingly, he used to 
he didn't even have a child or he hadn't even thought of having children mm-hmm. but he kept reminding me that boss you 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 got you got you you fell in love with um, Masha and she's she's the, she's your wife mm-hmm. you're going to be with her for eternity mm-hmm. the choices you make in those moments of frustration Actually. yeah mm-hmm. uh, may it even be harder for you to repair mm-hmm. so many yeah. times mm-hmm. we think because eventually i've heard those stories where people separate and then the lady goes and has a child and gets a child with another person mm-hmm. so the relationship is is irreparable yeah. Yeah, and then of course there are other factors mm. that that come because again the things that we do <coughs> it's actually something i pick from her for mm. every so, so choices have consequences mm. yeah so mm. so the decisions we take in the moment of frustration, mm. we, of frustration mm. we need to make sure that we do not give in to them mm. and when that is when that when that happens then everything becomes easy Right mm-hmm. now, um, we are we are thinking of uh, child number two, mm-hmm. but even uh, I'll, I'll confess, even from the intentionality of naming, mm-hmm. that is something I learned. I actually learned from my wife the intentionality of speaking something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So naming and saying, um, Ezra is coming. Mm-hmm. So yeah. or say Jedidiah is coming, mm-hmm. and focusing on that, focusing on the fact that. Jedidiah is coming. Mm. Not on the fact that he hasn't. He come. hasn't. Come. Yeah. Mm. I read so mm. when I read the book. Um, that when we read it every day, there are times when I'm like, you are waking up, you have a tight deadline, and then, but you remember that you know, this is a promise that mm. has worked for time immemorial. Mm. So when I pick that, I now run with that. Mm. Yeah. Yes. When I face my, of course, also family helped. So mm. family wasn't my family wasn't as tough as other families mm. Mm. so i appreciated that oh, yes. mm. even when she had to visit and you see them staring and say uh, when is the child coming <laughs> so yeah mm. so that thing just saying that you know what the promise is there mm. it will come if it doesn't come so be it if mm. it's different if you do not um, have a relationship with god mm. because now there you are working on the world standards yes. which is yes, yes. a different uh, and, and paul says do not conform to this standard yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yes yeah let mm. god transform you by yeah. the complete renewing yeah. yes. yes so daily renewing your mind and reminding important. yourself yeah. of the why mm. Mm. Yes, yeah. yes yes and masha do you want to how how do you what do you encourage the mm-hmm. lady who's out there yeah um, <laughs> the pressure <laughs> The pressure, yo, girl, I feel you. <laughs> I feel those stares. Mm. I feel those side remarks. I feel those side eyes. Mm. I feel it. Mm. I know. I've been there. I completely, absolutely understand. Mm. Uh, but let me tell you, I want to encourage you, and I want to encourage you with not even my very words, but the, the words of God. And I think mm. that's the authority, you mm. know. Um, today people are here, and tomorrow they are gone. Yeah. But the word mm. of God never fails and it never fails it has been true for thousands of years and it remains true today and it will remain true tomorrow in fact the 13th chapter and the 8th verse of the book of hebrew says jesus christ is the same yesterday today and forevermore so i want to encourage you that he is the same yesterday today and forevermore and listen He's no respecter of persons. Mm. If he did it for Sarah mm. and Rebecca mm. and Hannah mm. and Elizabeth and mm. Rachel and mm. myself and my husband and countless other testimonies around the world, yeah. he can do it for you too. Amen. So please hold on to that promise mm. and take God at his word. Mm. Choose to take God at his word, regardless mm. of what the doctor's report says, yeah. regardless of what people are around. You know, mm. then there are also people who hear a lot of negative stories. I remember mm. in that season, I decided not to hear negative stories. Then mm. listen, yeah. yeah, I'm going to listen to, to positive stories, yeah. to stories yeah. of victory, mm. to stories mm. of triumph, mm. to stories of faith, you know? Yeah. Um, so I chose to listen to those stories. And like my husband has said, we also had really a mm. good support system that also never asked certain questions, you yeah. know? Mm. Uh, so to really just choose to listen to the positive mm. stories because the negatives are so many mm. and there are some good positives. So mm. to hold on to the fact that God is is 
is a faithful God and his and his and his word is true and his word is faithful mm -hmm. and he never ever fails us he never ever leaves us he's so faithful mm -hmm. he's been faithful from the beginning of time mm -hmm. and he'll be faithful till forever till forever indeed yeah. indeed mm -hmm. so hold on to the promises of God mm -hmm. maybe one last thing mm -hmm. and I forgot to mention this in our in our journey is um, well we have a cousin <laughs> of a mutual relative Let's put it like that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a long story, but <laughs> she has our best intentions at heart. And I remember mm. she's she even she's only introduced us and etc. So I remember at that time she was pregnant with her second baby. Mm. And then she asked me, now my cousin is very she's introverted, she's very academic, mm. you know. So in the people to ask me. Mm. It was not her. <laughs> yeah, so she asked me. She's like, hey, by the way, how are you? She's, she's, she stayed, she's, at that time, she was staying in Busega, and then mm. we stayed on the other side of town in, mm. you know, Mutungo. So by the way, I want to take you for pizza. I'm like, hmm. In Bugolovia, hmm. But, like, she was doing everything to make it convenient for me. Mm. So we go for pizza. And then she's like, uh-huh, how is everything? How is ministry? How is this? How is work? Mm. How is that? I'm like, it's okay. Then she's like, mm hmm So... By the way, I think you may need to go to a doctor. Now, this is 2019. Mm. I think like a month, to, mm. up to maybe two months to when we're going to conceive. Mm. So, by the way, this is his number. Oh, and by the way, if you don't get him, you call the reception and book. Ah, I said, mm. now she's introverted. She's not mm. like you're aggressive. Yeah. You know those people, right? Mm. Yeah, she's so, ah. And then, because I know that she means well, mm. yeah. And I think just the previous week, I'd also had lunch with my auntie's best friend, who I saw no means well. well mm. And she also gave me that same doctor's number. Mm. So <laughs> I said, okay. Now, what is this? yeah, I said mm. this cannot be coincidence. We don't mm. have a God of coincidence. He mm. orchestrates events yeah. and yeah. situations and circumstances. Mm. Mm. And this could be God speaking. You know, I don't take anything for granted. So I go home, I tell my husband, I'm like, hey, by the way, I had lunch, I had uh, pizza with so and so. And hey, can you imagine? He's like, hmm. So she tells us, you guys go. So we actually go together. Mm -hmm. And guess what? The day we go is the day she was going for her checkup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think she's like, um. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we go and then we do the, we run the tests the first time. Then um, we're given some medication. And then we, you know, go away and then come back. <coughs> now, the next time I came back, I was supposed to do a number of so many tests. Mm -hmm. But I didn't do them because I actually conceived mm. yeah wow. so um, amen amen mm. so i think for me when i when i remember that that particular situation i remember that mm. um you could have a friend a friend mm. who means really well a sister who means well an auntie who means well a mother a father a, an uncle someone who means well mm. and they could just say a sentence and that could unlock or do yeah. a breakthrough so don't mm. take those for granted okay mm. because they both actually mean well, well. Mm. yeah and god places them in your life mm for a reason because they mean well you know they are called destiny helpers yes. mm. yeah mm. i wanted to ask you uh, mm, what was that uh time during the waiting time yeah. what was that toughest part that you reached and said but are you really speaking mm. oh mm. so what was that toughest part during the waiting season for you especially for you. he has shared his mm. yeah uh, wow, that's a good question. The toughest part, I think, for me was, um, you know, just the, the looks, I think. Yeah. Mm. Every now and again, you bump into people, people whom you last saw in primary, but, well, they had you got married, <laughs> married some time ago. And this, and they ask you, and you're like, but wow, you don't even know me, you know? Yeah. Mm. Sometimes you go into church gatherings and they don't mean to offend you, mm. but they'll ask you, hey, Panagi, are you people? Hey, you're not what's serious. Up? What's up? What's up? Mm. Hey. And like they may come off as seemingly okay questions, mm. but they bite. They bite. They yeah. bite mm. because then they remind you of your inadequacy. Mm. And I think every now and again, I was always reminded of this inadequacy that mm. perhaps there's something wrong with mm. me. But mm. I think because, like he said, we were honestly on our knees mm. and. I think one of the things about prayer is that, and, and I like that Daphne brought it up a bit earlier, mm. is that you may not get the answer today, yeah. but God gives you the grace and yeah. the strength totally. and the ability mm. to go through that day. You mm. know, I think that's why Jesus said, you know, uh, give us this day our daily food, bread. yeah, our daily bread. But also mm. he said that... <clears throat> Man shall not live on bread alone, alone, but by everything that comes from the mouth of 
God. God. Yeah, so meaning that every day we need, every single day, we can't pray we two overnights for one year. No, no, no. Mm. We need that bread. Like you, like you brush your teeth every day. Yeah. Like you mm. shower every day. You need that. And I think mm. when I would be asked those questions, when I've had my daily bread, listen, I would feel inadequate in the moment, but then the word of God would remind me. Mm. And my affirmation comes from the word of God. Mm. My identity comes from the word mm. of God. My confidence is derived from the word of God. Who I am is derived from the word of God, mm. not Amen. from the world, not yeah. from its standards, but by the sure word of God. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah, and, and maybe just, sorry, one more thing, even in hindsight, when we when I was looking at uh, Jedidiah Je- Je- the other day, mm-hmm. it was clear that there's something on him, mm-hmm. and you know when God when when God comes through, mm-hmm. He definitely comes through in a big way. Oh, yes. yeah. mm-hmm. So I know that there's something great He's going to do. Mm-hmm. So yeah. the weight is always worth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So the weight is always worth. <coughs> mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Wow, well, that's, that's powerful. powerful eh? mm-hmm. The weight is always <coughs> important. Mm-hmm. And anyway, eh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow, 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 guys. <laughs> this is challenging. I, I mean, know. you listen to this and you say, God. Because sometimes you you look at your situation and you're like, okay. Like for us, we've shared ours. Mm. We conceived before we got married and we are condemning ourselves. Mm. Yeah. That's because the, we are like condemning ourselves. Like, mm. And there are people seen. actually who are going through that. Mm. Yes. Mm conceived before uh, birth, mm, yeah. before marriage, and some of them have made bad decisions, yes. like, you know, abortion, mm, yes. or for one reason or another, mm. and it's a reminder, I think, to just be, to allow the will of God yeah. whenever yes. it comes at you. Yes. And sometimes you don't tell God when. If it mm. has, if the child has come, mm. that is his blessing. Whether yeah. he chooses to bring the child, mm. uh, I don't know, mm. kids are not by accident. Yeah. Mm. Your acts might be accidental, yeah. but... Mm. The child is a blessing. It's a blessing, that's, yes. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So, and I like something that you mentioned about marriage not mm. being about the children. Mm. Yeah. And I think mm. when we enter into the marriage, I know there are people who are just that are single or mm. they are engaged. Mm. Mm. I just want you to remember that the marriage is not about the children. Yeah. Mm. The marriage has nothing to do with the children. Mm. Mm. It's just that every, when you get married well, the children come. As and so blessing. society has expected, has conditioned it to be that marriage equals children mm. but sometimes marriage is not children mm. and it's not that you are a sinner or it's against god's will mm. no it could actually be god's will that yeah. there are no children involved mm. yeah so i i think there's also that and because you have that expectation when things <coughs> like waiting come mm. yeah you lose sight alone yeah, yeah. so just mm. constantly reminding ourselves and it, it's it's the children it's everything else that comes with marriage mm. uh, it's, it's that the finances mm. when we say you know in sickness and, and in health for rich or for poor all mm. these things we are saying whatever happens mm. this yeah. marriage yeah. Will yes. remain, yes, and so it is in those moments of frustration, like you're saying, mm, that, where the marriage is that, tested. that vow yeah. is tested. It is not in the bliss, it mm. is not in the Happiness. having a baby mm. when mm. you just sleep like this and the baby shows <laughs> up. <laughs> it is in moments like yeah. this, yes. and I think I don't think that they leave us the same. Mm. These mm. moments grow our faith, mm. we do not remain the same after challenges like yeah. that. Mm. And I like what you said that. You know it's worth it in the mm. end not yeah. just for the result the, the fruit that comes mm. but it does something to your faith it yeah, does it something to your relationship yeah. with yeah. god yeah. Yeah. and you can say that ah uh-uh, the god who got me out of this yes. will take me sure, out yeah, of yeah. every yeah. city there's no other situation that you yeah, can face that, that you, that you cannot take oh, yes. me out of yes. oh yes and i think oh, sometimes yes. when those things are happening we don't see it that way we yes. don't see it as a refining of our faith yes. as uh Beautiful. you know as mm. as what god is doing within mm. us yeah. even in the seasons of waiting mm. and testing mm. yeah. so yeah, yeah that is really yeah it's powerful. deep yeah because um, <coughs> i mean we go through challenges challenges uh, we normally say me and maybe be like if you want to be promoted to the next class, you will do an exam. Yes. Yeah. It's a challenge that you have to read, you have yes. to... So challenges are stepping stones to success. Mm. Challenges are there to strengthen you. You're going through a situation, a season, and yeah. Mm. So it's encouraging. So I wanted to ask, uh, how did this challenge affect you as a couple? Or how did it, going through this challenge and the waiting, how, how were you able to, to emerge? Mm. Victoria, <laughs> yes, during that 
mm. that entire challenge because you 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 move here this one saying this sometimes you know you can even get paranoid mm. you look at people and say hey, i think they are talking about me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even the, yeah. the i think even the the i mean even the relationship because yeah. i know couples who are reached at a point where they are like you know what mm. now having mm. sex for example is just now to tick off the yes the need the mm. pressure to say ah we are counting mm. like how does someone who is in that situation keep the fun mm. of that intimacy and not let the waiting yes get the waiting way. getting the way yeah because i think five, mm. four years in and all you've been doing is trying to have a child it's very easy for you to now make every relation that you have about the child about the child, yeah. how do mm. couples remain you know enjoy what is happening each other do, yeah. do you pause and just say ah today we are not thinking about a ch- child mm. comes or not mm. well and good mm. um so because actually i was thinking in that season mm. during that time mm. what we were able to do i think we were able to to grow the most in our relationship with God and even in our assignment in mm. ministry in serving wow. Wow. so so you find something you find um, you dig deep into the purpose that he has for you mm. so that means you basically get something to keep you away from what is happening the, and yes. when you look at it in that season maybe if it had come earlier i don't know if you would have been able to have the same commitment commitment mm. that's true uh, yeah. because a baby is a child is also another responsibility mm. Mm. yeah you now start thinking ha ah, i can't go uh, uh, my wife used to go for ministries to karamoja and the like mm. those places now you will think twice mm. about that so yes. knowing that you know what in a season mm. There is always something that's going to happen in that season. Yes. So yes. in hindsight, mm-hmm. actually, when you were, when when you you guys were talking, I was thinking. Mm-hmm. So in that season, actually, what was happening was God was establishing our relationship with Him, mm-hmm. and that that the, like you said, the exam, mm-hmm. that was one of the exams mm-hmm. that we were going through. Mm-hmm. So, oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, so because yeah. how can you shepherd my church if you? <laughs> yes. I mean, you can't even yes. 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 shepherd your own faith. Yeah. <laughs> that's just right. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yes. Yeah. So 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 basically saying some other people call them projects. Mm. So yeah. other people have done say projects saying at least name it to A B C D mm-hmm. and you do them together. Mm. Mm. Deep down there will be always the doubts. There will mm. be always the doubts and the challenges. Mm. Once in a while a guy will say, but you know, it is okay actually even Christian. Mm. You'll be like, well, it's okay to actually have mm-hmm. someone on your side mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that kind of even thing. christians yes yes mm-hmm. so because again is that human <laughs> aspect of <laughs> no, time yeah. has mm-hmm. to yes mm-hmm. so so understanding that you know actually what we're doing we are defining because god has brought us together yes. for a reason yeah. so Very the reason is, yeah. is isn't the child mm-hmm. so what is the reason you fix on it's that the purpose, yes, the purpose, the purpose yes. and then it keeps all these other things away yes. um for me the struggle was actually seeing knowing people are looking at her and saying hey, it's her fault and what and what but in that time it didn't keep her from now chasing um, her purpose mm. and i think that's when we were able to be a part of uh, of the church the yes, 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 yes yes so even the baby came in a season which was interesting in the covid season when things are slowing down so i want to cut off the noise yeah. for you people <laughs> yes. yeah because when i young guy don't want to miss anything in life <laughs> I said that God you love in the yeah. end, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, everyone is in the house. We're all in the house together. <laughs> I'm not the only one. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but really what you are saying to be honest, um yeah, the, you know, if you when you're trying the marriage can become about, you know, we must get a baby today. Mm. But honestly, I think like you said we uh, we became so fixated on God. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Honestly, my like I thought I used to pray before, and by the way, I never used to pray really. But in my mind, you know how in your mind, for your yeah, life, you are like, ah, I'm a prayer warrior. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But in this, this season, one. oh mm-hmm. my goodness, like 
I got to realize, oh my God, I don't pray. Mm. And even now, there are certain seasons we are going through, and then when I look back, I'm like, you are joking. Mm. That was not what was that prayer. Mm. Yeah. So to his point, to be honest, I think for me the prayer, the prayer fixated our, our eyes on on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, mm. fixated our everything on Him. Yeah. Mm. So we didn't really allow much of these other things to, you know confuse us or take advantage of the situation because really in that season you may come off as desperate yeah. right yeah. Mm-hmm. yes because every car like you said mm-hmm. if you're like are they looking at me mm-hmm. are they asking why i'm not? like when mm-hmm. we go to randa yes mm-hmm. and to see his family and you know sometimes you know that it would come all the time sometimes you're like oh my god all of them have babies cute little mm-hmm. boys and girls running around and like, maybe they're looking at me now so she's not even a Munyaranda. but mm-hmm. then even then she can't even give us a what <laughs> <laughs> As if the first one was not bad enough. Now even this one. Ah, oh God, so yes, so not so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but again, that those thoughts did not even even take five minutes in my mind, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, also, he's, a, he's, a, he's so amazing. He mm-hmm. never allows such thoughts to take root, you know? Mm-hmm. Even if they pass in conversation, he'll ensure that they uh, pass, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, rest them yeah, 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 rest them quickly. Make mm-hmm. sure that they don't take root in, our, in my heart mm-hmm. and therefore form actions, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. 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 And, you know, yeah. So, no, I just remember it. So one of the things, and the devil can also, there's a time, there's a time, I don't know if it was a day or two, and that time I would move around and I said, actually, my eyes would always look out for a pregnant what? Mm. Woman. Which was a reminder that mm. you guys are, you know, like more mm. like to say that you are mm. failing. Mm. But quickly arrest that thought and then yes. move on. I love that. Yeah? Yeah. You know, um, Joyce May, I think in her book, is it Battle of the Mind or something mm. like that? Mind. Yes, she says that we do not replace, if you're battling with negative thoughts and mm. You do not replace them by trying not to think about them. Mm. You replace them with positive thoughts. That's right. And it's the same thing with the word of God. So mm. you don't fight what the devil is telling you by saying, oh, no, no, I won't think about it. Let me just go and sleep. Mm. <laughs> no, it will keep coming. But you replace it with what does the word of the Lord say. Mm. And every t- and of course, you can't replace when you don't know the word yeah, of God. So true. how are you spending your time? Yes. Are you spending it in the word of God or yes. just chilling and listening to all these people who are judging you? I don't know all these worldly things that you don't want to hear about. That's really powerful. So there's someone out there, they're going through this season. Mm. I just want you to tell them what would you mm. say is the power of prayer. Yeah. Yeah. How would you attribute, like, because you know, at the start you said hey, was it was it spiritual. By the prayer and fasting? Or? Yes, yes mm. prayer and fasting. it was spiritual. Mm. So there could be someone there, maybe it's not medical for them. Or they don't even know. I like mm. what you said, you went to the doctor mm. and then you also god revealed it in prayer yeah mm-hmm. so sometimes i mean it could be it could be biological yeah. it could be spiritual yeah. Yeah. so how do you please do help us know yeah. what this prayer thing mm-hmm. looked like in detail mm-hmm. yeah in detail um so 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 the prayer um fortified so it fortified my mind it mm-hmm. made it and, and also understanding because I, I, I tend to be rational. Mm. So when I looked at the track record, um, God, God, God is basically undefeated. When you look at the odds, yeah. what's the odd of this versus the odd of that? Mm. And then you're looking at the promises, mm. like my wife was saying from Abraham, mm. um, Jacob, all the way, mm. he has always <coughs> succeeded and it's there. The prayer and the word is mm. there to confirm that. Yes. So when I know that, you know what, if I'm taking a chance, or if I'm taking a bet, the odds are going to be in favor of God. Mm. So when I did that, it fortified me, pushed me, even in the times where um, in your own strength and wisdom, mm. it didn't add up. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Um, so what does the prayer thing <laughs> look like? So it's, you know, so the, the, the good thing is that they are guides. You, you, you don't have to, you know, say, okay, what am I going to say? Where do I start from? Mm-hmm. A really good guide, and, I'm, and I know many people have shared this book because it's been, I think, since the 70s. It's called mm-hmm. Supernatural Child Birth. Mm-hmm. It's a really good book. Um, so that book has prayers. 
and mm. scriptures that you can pray into so you don't have to just be like okay where do i start from mm. um so we we really did pray into that book but the more that you pray to that book the more you even end up doing your own personal bible study mm. and mm. then which will form other mm. prayers mm. and because god is faithful he will reveal mm. he will reveal the situation mm. along, yeah. along the way he'll even give you the strength because I've had people who have waited 10 years, 15 years, 20, 30, 40. We've had all these stories. Mm-hmm. And what, what really could have, you know, taken them, it could, couldn't have been anything but prayer, hearing from yeah. God and mm-hmm. getting that affirmation and that confirmation. So, uh, daughter of destiny, uh, son of destiny, you know, get yourself a, a prayer book, a prayer guide, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, you don't have to start from scratch. Get yourself something. It will guide you along the way. And, and the more that you do it, is the more that you will do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and of course, when you have a support system, my spouse and I were on the same page, so mm-hmm. that helped. We, you know, even when you don't feel like praying, because those mm-hmm. days are there. Let's yes. be honest. Yeah, yeah those mm-hmm. days are there. You won't mm-hmm. feel like it. Mm-hmm. But you know that it's it fortifies you yeah. to his point it mm-hmm. fortifies you mm-hmm. so have an accountability partner mm-hmm. uh, your spouse would be the best but if that's not possible for whatever reason or circumstance because i also know those are there mm-hmm. get get, get an, a friend a, a, yeah. you know a sister mm-hmm. a brother to mm-hmm. hold you accountable i said did you pray mm-hmm. those prayers today mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to join i know zoom came for us by the way yeah. whatsapp calls are now clearer than yes. ever you can we have no excuse you have no excuse why, mm-hmm. why you can't have an altar online yeah. mm-hmm. you know so you can get that person to hold you accountable, even join you sometimes, uh, because the power of three, you know, where two or three are gathered in my name, mm-hmm. there I will be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and 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 because there's power in agreement. Yeah. There's so much power in agreement, and I think mm-hmm. that's one of the amazing things that we saw with mm-hmm. the two of us that we were in agreement together. Mm-hmm. So there's power in agreement. Get <coughs> somebody to agree with you, to stand with you, to hold fast onto the promises of God, to mm-hmm. know that God is indeed undefeatable mm-hmm. yeah we are victorious and we triumph in victory mm-hmm. yeah and going knowing that you're on the winning side not on the mm-hmm. losing side mm-hmm. you come from a place of a winner not mm-hmm. from a place of a loser yes. going to that as you pray that is your mindset mm-hmm. and that will make your prayers even much more mm-hmm. beautiful as you pray mm-hmm. yeah wow. wow so we've come to the end of this episode yeah. thank you so much for joining us but before we leave, mm-hmm. I feel led to ask you mm-hmm. guys to pray for someone in the audience yeah. who is watching this, mm-hmm. who all this, I mean, they really want to believe it. Mm-hmm. They want to believe that there's something at the end of the tunnel for them, mm-hmm. but they don't know how to get themselves there. And mm-hmm. the word of God tells us that he, he causes us both to will and to do according to his purposes. Mm-hmm. And you guys talked about it as you were sharing. Mm-hmm. It's not that God just causes us to will but he also causes us to do yes so i just want you to pray for this person for god to give them the willingness yeah. and the, the ability to do that which they are meant to do be it waiting mm. be it staying longer be mm. standing there for their spouses mm. or even the belief mm. you know for God to help their unbelief, for that yeah. person who is just because the Holy Spirit can do anything, mm-hmm. He will increase you in your faith. He will because mm-hmm. sometimes people share their stories and you're like, oh, how did you remain standing? It's the Holy Spirit. Yeah, totally. The Lord can do that. And mm-hmm. so I just wanted you guys to one of you, mm-hmm. you might just decide who mm-hmm. you can just pray. Uh, maybe Masha just mm-hmm. pray for someone out there, and yeah. I know the Lord will do something amazing yeah. for them, even as men mm-hmm. we speak. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 Indeed. Father, we thank you and we bless you and we give you praise and we give you honor. We thank you because you're a good God. You're an amazing God. You're a merciful God. You're a sustaining God. You're a providing God. You're the maker of heaven and earth, oh God. Father, in you we have our hope and our trust, oh God. You know, the psalmist says that some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but we will trust in the name of the Lord. And so, King of glory, I come here in the authority of your word, oh God. And if there is such a one on this broadcast who's wondering when is my turn coming i have given up i keep hearing other people's testimony stories other people's victorious stories when is it going to be my turn i'm out of it i'm tired so much has been happening oh god that you may encourage such a one who's listening in right now oh god father lift them up in the name of jesus oh god father may their hope be that you are a god who changes situations oh god you are the god of abraham isaac 
Isaac and Jacob, oh God. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You're unchanging in all your ways, constant yes. in your character, constant in your word, oh God. And so, Father, we come here, oh God, joined in prayer and in faith for such a one who's listening right now, for such a one that may watch this a year or two later, for such a one that is desperate, that has reached the end of the road, that is pressed against the wall. Mm, let me tell you something. God is good. So, Father, I pray right now that you will touch them even in this very moment, oh God. Father, may you touch that womb, oh God. Open that womb in the name of Jesus, because you're the God who opens wombs, oh God. you you did it for Rachel. You did it for Hannah. You did it for Sarah. You did it for Elizabeth. You did it for me. You have done it for countless others, oh God. May you do it for such a one that is hearing right now by the by way of contact of this broadcast, oh God. Do it for them in the name of Jesus. You're a healing God. You're a delivering God. You're a God who is all powerful in the name of Jesus. In fact, your word says that with man, it is impossible. But with God, nothing is impossible. And so we stand on the authority of that word and say that it is not impossible with God. It is possible with him in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for a man and a woman, oh God, a couple that's believing you in the name of Jesus and are watching this broadcast. That Lord of glory, you may strengthen them. You may grace them. You may sustain them, oh God. That they will be anchored in your word. They will be anchored in your truth, oh God. That they will not take their eyes off you, oh God. Your word says in the 26th chapter of Isaiah that you keep him in perfect peace whose eyes are stayed on him. That God, they will not take their eyes off you, Jesus. The author and the finish of our faith. Velebe gataka, rebogo zigereke. Garabo shakaba, ribondele bakarabo, oh guzele bebe. Don't take your eyes off Jesus. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. The world may want to take your eyes off Jesus, but keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Father, you're good and you're great, oh God. And I know, King of Glory, that your hand is not too short to stretch out to each and every one that is dealing, that is that is going through all these things. O King of Glory, if you could do it for us, you can do it for them. You're not a respecter of persons. And so, Father, we give you praise and we give you glory. You're good and you're great. For it's in Jesus' most marvelous and most glorious name we have so prayed. And everybody here said, a believing, Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Yes, thank you guys. Till next time. Bye bye. bye.